Secondly, I would like to thank the family for being with me. Thirdly, I would like to thank all of you who are here. It has been a long journey. Since this matter started, you have been with me. There are times when we felt weak. There are times defeated. But because of your support, we were made to have the strength to soldier on. To state that those of our colleagues who have been incarcerated today, who will stand with them, who will be with them even in prayers, let's pray for our colleagues. We know how this matter was, okay. that indeed at the end of the day has been done, but partially because how we wish that all of us, the 18, we were to be set free today. It was going to be present for all of us, bearing in mind that those are our brothers, those are our uncles, those are our children, but today they are behind. A battle line has just been drawn. This is just the beginning. Our greatest enemy is PF. This year, 2021, is a must-win election. We can only do that if we are united. As the saying goes that united we stand and divided we fall. So we call upon our brothers. Indeed, they have talked but we harbor no grudge. Mandela said, you will not be free if you are released in prison and you do not forgive those that were persecuting you. Yeah. We have forgiven them. Amen. Amen. That there were a lot of people that were celebrating mm -hmm. that we were being persecuted. There were a lot of them, but we forgive them because where the power of man ends, that's where the And they always say a devil is a liar. Indeed, today we have seen that this victory is not my victory, but it is your victory. It's not the first time that I'm appearing in court. In 2016, we were in court. We battled it out, and God prevailed. When we went to Parliament, indeed, I was among those members of Parliament who were suspended and taken to court for the very first time. That a number of 56, I was among them, for not recognizing Edgar Chagwalungu as president. And we did just that. As if that was not enough, in order to dangle a butane, they brought trumped up charges on many of us. I'm not the only one. The member of parliament for Sesheke is still in court. In court, as we are talking right now, because they wanted us to support the poisonous building, who will be able to make us support the poisonous building. We said no, we rejected. Now, in life, you will go through problems. And it's only when you go through problems that you realize your friends. And today, I want to testify and confess that you are the true friends of the party. You are the true 
you are the true friends of mine and my family. There are a lot of people who are talking about we love the church on the lips, deep down their heart. It's shocking that if we didn't mean what we say, we need to walk the talk. We need to live as one family. To live. We understand that for people to come forward and probably want to vie for this position. For we all know that parliament will be dissolved just a few days from now. And it's not the time for to do shadow boxing, to do character assassination, because every person has got a following. Whoever will be adopted will need the support of the rest. So that this time around, we should send just constituents in the province. This time around, we don't want what transpired in 2016. Vote of Haka we shall protect the vote of UPND everywhere and anywhere. They, and I'm sure the youths this time around will work to ensure that the vote is protected. So that at the end of the day, we can redeem this country, Zambia. This country, Zambia, is on its knees. It has collapsed. There is nothing left. The only hope that is there for the future of this country and the democracy, we have seen so many people.